Hey, welcome to Elevator World TV and this week's video news broadcast. I'm T. Bruce McKinnon, Vice President of Elevator World. Our goal is to bring you the top news stories that are taking place in our industry as well as what's happening here at Elevator World. If you'd like news about your organization, event, or an association mentioned in a future video, simply email me. Now on to this week's news. In company news, Emotive, TL Jones, and Memco become Aver. Aver LTD is the new corporate identity of Emotive, TL Jones, and Memco. The conglomerate offers an extensive range of safety and communication products. Its manufacturing locations are in Singapore, China, India, and the Czech Republic, and it operates sales offices in 13 locations worldwide. Avair's products include light curtains, electronic displays, emergency telephones, and LED lighting. For more on the company, please visit, visit their website. In product news, Otis launches a new mobile application. Otis recently announced the launch of its new mobile application for its existing e-service online customer service platform. Designed for iPhone and Android smartphone users, the application will provide customers with instant access to open service calls, elevator performance data, and service call logging in for select markets. This initiative is an effort to make servicing elevators easier, faster, and more efficient, according to Sam Talbert, director of Otis Worldwide Service Marketing. In event and association news, Lift Tech Expo 2013 will be held at the Cairo International Convention Center on December 2nd through the 5th of 2013. This is the only known elevator expo for the continent of Africa. Both domestic companies and those from 40 other countries are expected to exhibit and at least 30 international buyers from the Middle East and the North African region will be invited. More than 7,500 visitors and 110 exhibitors are projected to attend. For more information about this event, please see their website. In other news, the August issue of Elevator World magazine will focus on communication systems and include a special section listing companies that specialize in these products. This issue will have bonus distribution at both NAC and Interlift exhibitions. If you'd like to list your company or want to sponsor or advertise in this publication, please contact me. Also included in the issue, is a continuing education article, coverage of the Canadian Elevator Contractors Association Convention in Niagara Falls, Canada, and the winner of Elevator World's first ever photo contest. The deadline for editorial contributions is June 17th, and for editorial submissions, please contact our editorial department. Hey, did you know that many people believe they can safely climb out of a stalled elevator? Jumping or climbing out of a stalled elevator is extremely unwise. The proper procedure is to simply stay in the elevator. Do not pry the doors open. Some people even worry that the elevator doesn't have enough oxygen, but elevators are not airtight. Also, most elevators have emergency lighting and communication systems for emergency situations. This information comes from an article originally published in Elevator World magazine, September 2008 issue. If you'd like more information about this subject or a copy of the article, contact our research department through our website. Hey, this is T. Bruce McKinnon reporting from Elevator World TV. Don't forget that you can have short, concise industry news delivered right to your email box by registering for our free bi-weekly newsletter, Elanet. Hey, please tune in to next week's video news, and I hope your week is filled with more ups and downs.